we are off to go see David Copperfield. Hey guys. Hi. Very excited. Magic is real. Pretty yeah. excited. That's the tagline. That's the ta hashtag. And then we're gonna go eat. We're not gonna tell you where though. No, but we'll probably Snapchat it or Instagram story it or something. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Good morning, Vegas. I hear a toothbrusher back there. Hi. Hi. So we are going to go get breakfast, but I'm not a huge egg person. So for me, I like to do a protein shake before we go get breakfast because I don't like eating eggs. So um, we pack protein, we pack our greens, all that fun stuff. And then we're gonna go eat at the Hash House. Is that where we're going? Mm -hmm. Hash House, which holds a very important place in our heart. And we'll tell you why. We'll take you guys with us a little bit today. But um, yeah, here we go. I would also like to point out that last night at the David Copperfield show, I was asked to be his assistant. You, Wasn't I? You felt a piece of tissue paper. I don't know if we'd go as far as being an assistant. I was his assistant. Okay, you were asked to be a part of the show. Every other person was like chosen at random. He like threw fr frisbees in the crowd or threw this metal ball in the crowd and it was like, oh, whoever grabs it can be, you know, help. This is true. But then, but then, he walked through the whole audience, and our eyes met, and he said, I need your help. I need you. And I said, okay, and of course, I, I don't like to like sit with my heels on, um, because I don't like to wear heels, so if I can sit and not wear heels. So I took my shoes off, so of course my shoes are off, so I'm like, my shoes are off, is that okay? <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. So then I went in the middle of the audience and he said, feel this piece of tissue paper, is it normal? And I said, yes, it's normal. And then he levitated it in front of me and then I got to do the little woo. And I made it move, didn't I? You did. Yeah, I made it move. So, so I'm basically a professional magician. And <laughs> then he folded it. Can you grab my flower? Yes. And then he folded it into, sorry, room's a mess. Um, he folded it into a tissue paper flower and then he lit it on fire and I could like feel and then he levitated it so there's so there's tissue paper flower levitating in the air and then he lights it on fire and this appears and I got to keep it and tell him the best part and he kissed my hand oh yeah so now guys so now I'm ever since then I pretty much been hanging out with Miss Famous Bud over here in her eyes. She is David Copperfield's assistant. I am David Copperfield's pretty assistant. Pretty sure she's going to change her Instagram name now to David Copperfield's assistant. Next, he's going to ask me to saw him in half or something. Yeah, next you're going to get a call. You're going to come work for him for full time. I'm just saying. I mean, it's it's this is never ending. <laughs> so, you know, if I stop the YouTube thing or the Instagram thing, it's because I'm in Vegas being David Copperfield's assistant. <laughs> What? You are dirty. There's my new place of employment. Oh my god. She might have a picture of you up there yet. I know, I'm his assistant. This is your David Copperfield's assistant, huh? That's what we're seeing tonight. That's gonna be exciting. I know. You actually got a lot of great reviews. Breakfast at the M&M World. No way. Why not? Why not? M&M's is not breakfast food. Okay, lunch. Is that the real Caesar's Palace? I know you get this a lot, but is this the real Caesar's Palace? <laughs> so we're walking to the Hash House for breakfast. I love breakfast. And why do we love the Hash House? Well, the Hash House holds a special place in our heart because yep. Sarah and I got engaged here in Vegas. Yep. And the very next morning after being engaged, we went and had the Hash House breakfast. And it was it, delicious. It was awesome. Yeah. It was during the Olympia too, so I think we're gonna record our love story tonight. Yeah. We'll do that tonight. 
it's not like it's super long or anything, but um, a lot of people have been asking, like, how'd you guys meet and all this stuff. Craigslist. Yeah, he bought me. It's a mail order from Armenia. Um, <laughs> I, I think... would have bought you if, if you were a mail order from Armenia. That makes you feel any better. I think we're almost there. You've never Seven been... miles later. Yeah, if you've never been to Vegas, like, everything looks really close, and then you start walking, and you're like... <sighs> Why is it so far? Like, oh yeah, I see it down there. We'll just walk. Yeah. Five miles later, yeah. you feel like you haven't even gotten close. Yeah. Well, we're walking past the Bellagio right now. Then Caesars, and I think it's up here, so. Pumpkin. Yeah, so... If you guys ever come to Vegas, you have to come to the Hash House. It is impossible to eat their serving sizes. Like, their sure. pancakes are like this big right Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need to definitely have product placement in this, in this vlog. Look how delicious this looks. I don't even want to eat it because it's so dirty. I know. So dirty. So dirty. I know. Honey, what did you order? I don't know what I've done. It is massive. Oh no. What do I do? I'm not even sure how, how to do eat I get it. There's a knife through the whole thing. A knife. That's a knife? It's a knife. Pull it out so we all can see. No, because then it'll fall. Here you go. What have I done? You have a whole chicken on top of a waffle. Yes, thank you. Two sizes pancake. Don't worry guys, I got sugar-free syrup. And a Diet Coke. And a Diet Coke. <laughs> Most people see like the food that we're eating and they think like, oh my god, how do they eat all that and stay in shape? Well, the truth is, we don't actually eat all of it. So we, get, we eat until we're satisfied and that's it. We don't try to finish our plates. You can see there's a ton of syrup left. I barely used any syrup. This giant mocha dish, you can see that we had just maybe this much of it. And you know, some people would say that that's being wasteful for wasting it, but it's not. Because if you eat it and you don't really need it, then your body's just going to waste it anyways. So it's not going to utilize it. So it's and I'm going to take this for a homeless person. So, it's our last night in Vegas. Boo. Yeah, we love it here. We do love it here. Why do we love it here? Well, we got engaged here, which is kind of bringing up the next topic of what we want to tell you guys about. Yeah. So a lot of people have been asking, like, what's your love story? And like, people like know like bits and pieces of it, I think. But I wanted to kind of record a formal love story interview, vlog, portion of the vlog, yeah. video within a vlog. So we met at the Arnold in... 2014? Yeah. I think it's, two, yeah, 2014. Yeah, 2014. Um, and if you guys don't know, the Arnold is the largest fitness convention in the world. It takes place in Columbus, Ohio every single year. Um, usually the first week of March, last week of February, last weekend of February, that kind of thing. And in 2014, I was working the Arnold with Isolator Fitness. And I was also getting ready for the last, the very last show, which was uh, MPC Pittsburgh in May of 2014. So I'm working the booth, and if you guys have ever worked at a convention or anything, it's tiring. It's long days, you have like cankles by the end of it. Um, <laughs> it's it's just, it's very tiring. And especially because I was getting ready for a show, and so Saturday night of the Arnold, so I worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday night of the Arnold, I really needed to work out. I'm like, I just need to work out. I've got cankles. I need Get to live. I need to do something. So I Google because I wasn't. I didn't live in Columbus at the time. Josh has lived in Columbus um, for what? About four, four or five years. Yeah. yeah. And I lived in Toledo, Ohio, which is like two and a half, three-ish hours away from Columbus. So I wasn't from around there. So I was just in town for the Arnold. And so I'm looking up, I'm like, 24-hour gyms in Columbus, and I find one. And which happens to be right across the street from my apartment. 
Yeah. So, uh, which actually wasn't close to the convention center at all. No, it was like, it's like 25-ish minutes away. Yeah. And so it's Saturday night, and Saturday night at the Arnold, a lot of people go to the after party, which is at the casino in Columbus. And I purposely did not bring, a, like, a go-out outfit because I didn't want to go out during the Arnold. I just wanted to be there to, to work and all that fun stuff. So I'm looking up, going to the gym. Like, where is it? It's, like, telling me. And it takes me to, like, like across the street. Over. From the gym, and I didn't know where it was because it was like dark, and I was. It was yeah, it's kind of hidden yeah. if you've never been there. Yeah. yeah, and so my map took me to like not even the gym, so I'm upset. I'm like, what the heck? Like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where this gym is. It's like eight thirty, nine o'clock at night, right. something silly. And I finally find the gym, and I walk in, and I'm like, I just need a day pass, and there or a day night pass, whatever. I'm like, well, it's gonna be forty dollars. I'm like, for a day pass? I'm like, I just want to like work out, and the manager behind the girl was like just let her in i'm like thank you because i probably would not have paid forty dollars well, to work would you have paid forty dollars to work out um yeah probably oh, well i was not going to pay i, I was not i was going to meet you well yeah, yeah i would pay like all the money in the world but um so i start to work out like i said it's i'm tired i have cankles i just want to work out so i have and paul's by the way um she had that written all over her face too um, ball cap on, polka it out of pants, I'll never forget. Pink polka it out of pants. Pink it out of pants. Headphones in. Headphones in, hat on. Don't talk to me Don't face. Don't talk to me face. Yeah. And I'm lifting glutes, because I'm like, well, you know, I'll like, get some blood moving in the legs and I'm standing on them. And I'm doing a superset. I was doing something on the Smith machine and then something on the assistant. You were doing push downs on the, yeah. the, uh, the pull-up machine. You are doing yeah. push downs with your leg on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And then what happened? Well... Of course, I spot her, and um, no, you didn't spot me. Like no, you I saw spot me. You, I spotted you across the gym, yeah. and I was like, I need to talk to this girl, and she has "Don't talk to me" written all over her face, like we said. But I was like, I don't care. I'm talking to her anyways because I got the perfect pickup line. Because perfect in Columbus, I know a chick that is in my gym right now that normally isn't is doing something with the Arnold, so I'm gonna go talk to her about it. And uh, so I walk up to her, and. Um, no, you didn't. Well, I tried multiple times to meet, like, a water fountain meet, and uh, she kept supersetting with the machine right next to the water fountain I never machine. went to the water fountain. So, I don't know how she functions. Like, literally, for, like, 35 minutes, she never took a single drink of water. I was focused. And I'm, like, over here at the dumbbells, and here's the water fountain, and she's doing a superset here. So, I see her coming across the gym. I'm like, oh, she's going to get a drink. So, I'm going to walk over and get a drink at the water fountain at the same time. So, she comes all the way to the water fountain and then turns and goes to this stupid superset machine that she's on. And and I'm just like, oh, my God. But you so I kept got, doing push-ups each time to pump your chest well, up. Duh, right? I had to look good you for you. You did a lot of push-ups and drank a lot of water that Yeah, day. I had a lot of water trying to time this up. So, by the fourth, f- fifth, sixth time I did this, I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to go interrupt her workout. So, why she's doing push-ups. Because that's what every girl wants. I was determined. I mean, you were so beautiful. I couldn't help it. I had to. So I walk up to her and I said my pickup line. Which you know, was? Which was, did you work the Arnold? That's not really a pickup line. That was, I mean, there's relevancy in, yeah. in the conversation. Was there, was, and... there was a reason to start the conversation. Yeah. Going up to Chick and said, hey, need a spot? You, know, that, you need that a spot really on work. that assisted machine that can't hurt you at all? <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, I just want to say thanks for wearing those pants. Yeah. Like, hey, could you tell your butt to stop staring my eyes? It's being really rude. So, anyways. <laughs> None of those pickup lines work, but None. with the relevancy of the Arnold being in town, all of that fun stuff, you know. Did you ask me if I I said, did. hey, did you work the, are, are you working the Arnold? I thought you asked if I did a sh- the show or something. No. Or and or you, yeah, just asked for it. It was good. later in I didn't look good enough to compete at that yeah, time. I was like, she's definitely not lean <laughs> She's definitely not a competitor. She's like 18% <laughs> body fat right now. Oh, get out of um, here. Get out of here. No, you you looked amazing, but um, I, just asked if, I just asked if you worked the Arnold because yep. of how tan you were. Of course, you say yes. Yeah. And we started talking about that, and um, conversation went really smoothly. Um, I was... I mean, we it really never hit a dull spot, you know. We um, well, you told me so. At the time, I was working at a digital marketing agency, and so yeah, like nine thirty, ten o'clock at night, we're just talking, and Josh tells me that he is self-employed, you know, does the fitness thing full time. That's his job, and is a pro, and won a lot of shows, and it just it really resonated with me. Like, oh, like this guy's the real deal. Like, yeah, he looks great, which I loved. So I'm like. 
I'm like high up so I can like, I had like an aerial view of oh, the yeah, traps. Oh yeah, you're up on yeah. that machine. <laughs> so funny. I had an aerial view of the traps, which I'm like, oh my gosh. So I, when I'm working out before he even says anything, I'm like doing my thing and I hear like, hey, do you work the Arnold? I'm like, ugh, in my head. I'm like, why? I'm like, I'm almost done. I almost got out of here without getting hit on. And then I turn around and I'm like, no. I'm like, yes, I did work the Arnold. I did. What would you like to know about it? Everything. Um, <laughs> you're such a dork. So then I tell you that I'm working with Ice Laner, and you're like, oh, well, I'll stop by your booth, you know, tomorrow on the last day of the convention. And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm sure you will, you know, whatever. We exchange phone numbers and Instagram names. and So I um, totally stalked her on Instagram. Totally stalked me on Instagram. So I'm, like, the most not giddy person Ever. Like, well, I'm sure first of all, I had to stalk her on Instagram because I needed to make sure she wasn't like the the most of the fitness world out there and po yeah. look at my glute progress and my thong. So I yeah. wanted to make sure she wasn't one of those girls. And obviously, you guys know Sarah; she's not one of those girls. So I'm not. Um, she passed the the first I passed the filter. The, yeah, I passed that. <laughs> um, no pun intended with the filter, but. Yeah. Um, so I'm working, I get I get to the convention center the next day, and it, like as you guys know, I'm not like a super like giddy or like ah person. Like I'm pretty like pretty chill. And I get to the to the booth the next morning and everyone's like, What's up with you? Like why are you so giddy today? And um I was talking to Linda who who works closely with isolator as well, and I'm like and I legit said this, and she can vouch for me. I said, I think I met my soulmate last night. She's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I did. And I tell her this story, and she's like, girl, we tried to get into that gym, but they said it was going to be $40, so we just turned around and left. I'm like, I know. The manager let me in. And we were just talking, and I'm like, well, he said he was going to come by the booth. And she's like, oh, okay, can't wait to, like, see him and stuff. I'm like, I know. me. I'm like, like, schoolgirl, like a little, like, schoolgirl crusher. And if you know Sarah, ever. this is extremely out yeah, of character. Yeah, very out so. of character. So... Standing there, I'm working the booth, and out of the corner of my eye, I see Josh, like, talking to someone further down the hallway or whatever, or the booth lane, whatever you want to call it, and I tell Dave, the owner of Isolator Fitness, I'm like, Dave, there he is, there he is, there he is, that's the guy, that's the guy, I'm like, yada, 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 and he looks at me, he's like, Sarah, that guy? I'm like, what? And he's like, I know that guy. I'm like, no, Dave. And I Dave. Been, Dave and I had been friends for like five years at this point. So, so. of course, he's like <laughs> razzing me about it. Josh comes up to the booth and it was about like, what, noon-ish? Yeah. yeah, it was around that time. So our first date was lunch at the Ohio State Convention Center. Yeah. Super yeah. classy. You happened to take lunch as soon as I showed up. So Dave was cool about it. You know, So you was... can go walk around. I hadn't walked around the Arnold yet either. So you can go to lunch, walk around, yada, yada, yada. Josh is cool. I'm like, thanks, Dave. Um, we walked around. Well, no, we went and grabbed lunch. We went and grabbed and, lunch. And um, that was when you dropped you were a vegetarian on me. I dropped the bomb. And then you dropped the bomb that you were a bow hunter. Yeah, that didn't end up well. Which um, is a whole other video that we're A whole other video. Long story <laughs> short, I did not think she was going to be anything more than a friend at that exact yeah. moment. And, and I saw uh, your... I literally remember seeing your face like... Oh. I was like, oh, great. You know, this had so much potential. You had all these characteristics I really admired. And yeah. then you dropped the bomb on me. Yeah, which um, is going to be a whole other video. If you've read my blog, I'm sure you've... Read you you that get that, story. so we're gonna skip but, over that yeah. long, drawn out story. Yeah. But, um, obviously, it it did end up being more than a friendship. Well, it did. Th so long story short is you actually didn't live in Columbus at the time. Nope. So you lived in Toledo, which was two hours away. Yep. And um, you worked for a digital marketing agency there. Man, you you'd been job job searching right in Columbus. I'd been so I was interested in doing different marketing things. I, I loved, obviously my, my degrees are in marketing, but I wanted different clients. I wanted to do different things. So I was job searching in Columbus. I'd been applying for a few months and ironically, which he thinks I just am crazy mm -hmm. and moved, but no, I did get a job offer that next Monday, actually after meeting you. Oh, so like yeah. 48 hours, it's the stars aligned. And uh -huh. so I, I, all you, all you <laughs> ladies out there, uh huh. I wouldn't just move Whatever. like crazy. Two weeks later, it's yeah, like, crazy oh, I happened girl. to get a job. I swear yeah. I've been searching for six I months. Was. So <laughs> I end up moving to Columbus. Um, the, it actually moved on April Fool's Day. So I moved April 1st and I never started that job because Josh actually, if I hadn't met you, I don't think I would have pushed myself to do the fitness thing. Um, and so we kind of just combined forces. We have qualities. He has qualities that I needed. I have qualities I know that, that you needed to right. further. We made an incredible team, you know. An and, incredible team. And once we kind of joined up, it's like the old saying goes, one draft horse can pull like 
2,000 pounds, but two draft horses can pull like 9,000 pounds. Yeah. And that was, I was kind of my... I'm a, I'm a draft horse now? Yes, you're a draft horse. <laughs> Raw power. No, yeah. but the, the point of the analogy is, is like, um, I needed so many qualities in Sarah in order for me to advance as a person and to go to different places. And Sarah needed qualities in me um, that I had, that, yep. that you needed. And in order to advance, and whenever we joined forces, I mean, it didn't take long to realize, like, hey, you know, obviously we're falling in love at this point, and um, from, you know, friendships, I mean, our friendship was incredible just yeah. out of the gate. Yeah. We had a lot of qualities and visions about life that, that we shared um, similarities in, and yeah. I, I thought that that was really cool. Because you were different than anybody I ever met. I know. And that's the God's honest truth. That's a good thing. It was. Yeah. Ditto. <laughs> yeah, so it was cool. And, uh, you know, once we joined forces, like you said, you, you had a week overlap. And I said, listen, I've designed a lot of these business systems, and I really think that you can plug yourself into this kind of system that I've designed and make a lot of money from it. And I said, let's just give it a try. Yeah. And that one week, I mean, it, it took off, and you yeah. never had to go, to go to your job, which, nope. which, <laughs> which was pretty cool. So... It was fun. Um, so we started making money together, which was pretty neat. Yeah. You know, and working together like twenty four seven. Like I don't right. like a lot of people. I don't know or think realize like how hard we do work and how much we do yeah. work. Um, we obviously don't show you guys that we literally grind like eighteen hours a day. Like yeah, and work and businesses, and we own a lot of companies. We're silent partners in a lot of things, um, different investments that we've made. So we there's a lot more to Josh and Sarah than just. <laughs> working out and, um, you know, our love for the outdoors and passion for that. But so, I mean, we worked together 24 seven. We literally sat next to each other in our first apartment, just at the kitchen table that with chairs that, that were half broken. (laughs) I was waiting. Oh my gosh. Well, I got those chairs at a new usage place. I know. Place, so so they're like a, it's like a Goodwill store. It's a little and funny. But you just got to save money to invest into businesses. And yeah, that's kind of so what we, I was doing. So we sat on funny. broken chairs for like eight months building companies together and whatnot. And so we meet in February. And then September comes around, which is the Olympia, which is actually here in Vegas. Yeah. And it's, um, I think, the second largest fitness convention. Don't quote me on that. Was, but at the time, I think it right, was. Right, right, right. Um, so the Olympia is huge for fitness. Dave from Isolator invited us to um, come out, work the booth, work the convention, and we were in Vegas for almost a week, almost I think. Almost a week, yeah. And um, we came out here, and... And so it was a lot of fun. I, I had this whole plan because we met at the Arnold. We're big fitness buffs. The Olympia is the mecca of all fitness conventions because um, it's title for Mr. Universe, you know. So I was like, you know what? I have got to ask her to marry me here. I said, this is just perfect. I have to do it. And I'm extremely nervous. I've never been engaged before, anything like Neither. that. Um, never even came close. Nope. So. It was, this was a huge step for me because for me, I only wanted to be married once yep. and I never, and, and the, that took a very special person. Sarah can vouch for me. I had a list of 126 things I wanted in a wife, like, yep. <laughs> and Sarah was 128 of them. It was amazing. Except yeah. for being 5'6". Well, I'm 5'3". You're 5'3". I did have 5'6 on there, yep. but you put heels on, you're right there. Exactly. You're Sorry. right there. So <laughs> anyway, that's a side note, but honestly, it was amazing. Um, I knew she was the girl for me. I knew this was the person that, that I could develop a life with, and this was going to be the one. So I was like, you know what? It's been eight months of 24-7 together. Well, it wasn't eight months at the time. That would have been like six or six or seven. Yeah, yeah. Six or seven months. Yeah. So it's t- spending 24 hours a day, seven days a week for six months straight. You kind of figure out if you can make things work or not. So yeah. for us... For me, I was like, I got to make this happen. So, you know what? That's exactly what I did. You know, I had the ring in my back pocket. And I think Sarah obviously knew something was going to happen because it was just too perfect for it not. And we'd already been talking about it. And, yeah. Well, we, and, lo- we went and looked at rings a few weeks before, a month before, something yeah, like so. that. And he found this, this ring. ring. Um, so, you did find it yourself, which I was really um, excited about. I was pretty happy. Yeah, yeah. So it was fun. You know, I got down on one knee and uh, it wasn't in like on the strip with all this fancy stuff. I wanted it to be very us, you know, as much as we post our life on Instagram and do all these things, I wanted it to be very private. This was something special. Yeah. And um, so I did it in the hotel room. It was, it wasn't like, um, you know, out with the big flashes and it was very, very low key. I got down on one knee and, and teary eyed, I asked you to marry me. And, uh, you obviously said yes. And, uh, it was so cool because Sarah's parents were actually in Vegas vacationing coincidentally at the same time. So we immediately go see Jay and Mindy and, and show her the ring. They asked us to go to dinner with them, but we 
So the Olympia is only two days for, for the convention. We've been dieting pretty hard for it, and Saturday night is the night we got engaged, and we didn't have anything to do the next day, so we're like, well, let's just go ham on a buffet. And so my mom was like, well, come to Caesars, and we'll go out to dinner. I'm like, no, you know, we really want to go to a buffet, so they just kind of went and did their thing. And I'm like, well, we can't post to social media knowing my, my mom and stepdad are like two casinos away. So we went and we went to Caesars and we went and surprised them. Right. My mom was super excited. Pretty sure she started crying. She um, yelled. She yelled. In the middle of this <laughs> very busy restaurant and was just... Well, because I had my hand behind my back and I didn't want to like, you know, so she's like, what's wrong with you? And I, you know, show her and, um, which was really, really awesome to share that moment with them. And then we went ham on the buffet. So yeah. we always, now that we, I mean, it's, oh, I'll twist my arm, you know. Yeah. Every time we come to Vegas, we go to a buffet and um, yeah, then we got married. We were engaged in September. We got married in January. Yeah, we didn't spend a lot of time being engaged. No. It's like, if you know, you know. Why? You know, why? Yeah. Planned the wedding in like two weeks, printed a list off Pinterest, and just checked yeah, her was, off. And It was awesome. Our wedding, we kept it pretty much all family. Very few friends were invited. Yeah. You know, um, again, we wanted to keep it pretty low-key, but... And now we've been married for how long now? Almost two years. Almost two years in January. Yeah, so come January, it'll be two years, and, uh... This is 2016. Yep. Not sure whenever you guys that are watching this video, but it's like a little time lapse or like a time capsule. Yeah, so this is fun, you know. And marriage has been awesome, and I couldn't I couldn't think of it to be even any better. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing is like people always talk about what's it like to be married. I personally think it's the best thing in the whole world, and a lot of people were oh, not, so there not are big so fans. many people like not you know family or friends or anyone but just you know random people oh yeah we're getting married in january oh you know the old ball and chain d-day's coming last was, day free it's like it's like no way I, yeah. said, this is, I just married my best friend like this is awesome yeah and you know what i feel like the best marriage again i'm an amateur of being married obviously i haven't even been married for two years but you know one of my favorite quotes is you know, for relationships if you treat them like you did in the beginning there won't be an end yeah and that takes a lot of effort and it's and it's not work it's just effort just like anything you care about takes effort yeah. and um a marriage is no different and i i think we've done a pretty good job about that haven't we? i'd say yeah we're still here still here still here high five so speaking of being married and doing awesome stuff we have a show to go to so we we're are. gonna have to get off here we're gonna go eat dinner and then tomorrow we are going on a road trip to utah i'm not sure if we're gonna vlog these together or not i don't know like a Two Vegas vlog things, and a Utah vlog. But you'll see that. Um, if you don't know, I recently got hired as David Copperfield's assistant. Oh, my gosh. Um, so I don't know if I'll be coming back to Ohio or not. Um, <laughs> Sarah got picked out of the audience to help David Copperfield with this r tissue rose burst into I, flames into a real rose. I levitated. She levitated paper. Yeah. I moved it with my finger and my mind. And your mind. I was like, move. And it was like, do, 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 do. <laughs> So now Sarah is David Copperfield's assistant. He also tweeted me this morning, no big deal. She's kind of famous now. I'm just saying. And I'm just the tag along. It's all right. <laughs> Whatever. But that's our love story. I know someone's probably inevitably going to ask about kids. We're waiting to have children for a few more years. We like being husband and yeah. wife. We travel a lot. We wanted to have a marriage of us. Not that there's anything wrong with having children as soon as you get married, anything like that. But for us, for our lifestyle... We just wanted to be husband and wife, really have that relationship right. before being mom and dad to hopefully twin boys. We That's want twin boys. We're, twin we're not going to tell you the name because you'll steal it. So don't even ask. Yeah. But you can comment below if you want to give us some ideas on yeah. some something that would go well with Bomar. Yeah. Boy names. Um, Boy names. Two boys. Twin boys. That's what we're speaking having. Speaking it. Speaking <laughs> it. Um, so yeah. That's Josh and Sarah... Love Story 101, I suppose. That's it, yeah. We yeah. didn't leave out any of the gooey details either, so no. that's pretty much it. So it's always fun to... I had a dream, like, a few weeks ago about, like, our Arnold pictures. Like, they, they met... The next one was married, because we got married yeah. less than a year. So we've met, married, married a year. Like, I feel like eventually we're going to have, like, one where I'm, like, pregnant, and then <laughs> one where we have kids, so it'll be really fun. It will so the be Arnold, old. Yeah, like, 90, like, bye! Um, so the Arnold really holds a special place in our heart. The Olympia, Vegas, buffets. Yeah. All that. Well, you're ready to go, honey. I'm starting. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Sadly, our time in Vegas has come to an end. But we're going to go get cronuts. 
I've never had a croissant donut before. Very excited. And then we're off to Utah. Six hour road trip. We have some business meetings um, over the next few days. Should be fun. Are you ready? Uh, and I am ready. Cronut time. Cronuts! Woo woo! I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. I've never had a cronut before. Nor have I. So I'm gonna have four. Wait. Yeah, that's usually how it should work, right? No. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. 